when we get into this, there's three things that I would like you to look at. So uh, this is this is I would say the most important thing when it comes to just becoming more of a competent player in terms of like laning, right? Um, three things. That's it. Uh, you want you want to make the game as simple as possible because oh. simplicity is easy to understand and making things complicated is simply not. So the three things that we look at when we play League of Legends is one the minions and when i say the minions i mean like the, both of them both sides of the minions mm -hmm. okay specifically when you look at this we'll call this we'll, we'll call this uh aspect one the reason why we do this is because you need to know which minions of yours are low mm -hmm. so you can walk up and hit the enemy yeah because the enemy has to stand in a stationary position in order to get the minion. Right? We, yep. We're on the same page here, yeah. The second reason you're looking at these minions here is because you need last hits. Yeah. And you, all you're doing is you're just timing when these minions are going to kill your uh, the enemies and you're just last hitting upon it based on You know this. Mm-hmm. Right? So this this is the this is the first thing you need to look at. The second thing you need to look at, we'll make this yellow, is the enemy laner. Now, the enemy laner could be here or here or here. Doesn't really matter. But it's important to bounce your attention with your eyes. From minion, from minion transaction to enemy laner, back to minion transaction to enemy laner. Mm -hmm. Okay? Eventually, you're doing both of these things in synonymous, and they're very easy to do. You're really just paying attention to the enemy and seeing what yeah. they do. So let's say, for example, if enemy laner moves up, you're already moving back. Yeah. If enemy laner moves away, you're already pressing up. Right, like it's stuff like this that you want to be mm -hmm. uh, aware of, right? So we've covered two things. We cover we've covered the minions. We've covered the enemy laners. The third thing is the mini map. So everything that is League of Legends in lane has to do with these three variables. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's nothing else you have to worry about. The, yeah. the the more you make the game simple, the easier it is to follow that simplicity and perform. Right um, now, when we look at the mini map, which I'll, I'll further explain a little bit more on this, is you want to look at the map between every last hit or two. If you're a beginner player, you know every two to three minions, glance at the map. Mm -hmm. The more you the more you become uh, better at this, every last hit, it's good to just glance at the map. Yeah. It's also gl really good to glance at the map just as you're fighting. Like let's say you're fighting randomly. You look at the map like briefly, just even it takes like less than a second to just pan your eyes to the map and then back to the screen, like as to where yeah. you're fighting. Okay, so again, just to just to clarify and to explain everything in uh in, in its in its totality, three things: minion transaction, enemy laner, mini map. Yeah. Okay, so it's best if you write this down, or perhaps I don't know how you learn or how you're gonna kind of note these things. Mm -hmm. um, but it's crucial that this is something that you do have to take note of. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through a number of of, of lane movements that you're making, and we're gonna talk about it. But the way you fix it is you do these three things, and you train your eyes to look at them. That's it. 